my dear student welcome to my online class hope you are well by the grace of almighty today i am going to discuss about transformation of sentence part 3 i have already discussed about how to change the assertive sentence into interrogative sentence today i am going to discuss about rest part of the rules rule number 5 a pre plus noun in a assertive sentence a pre plus noun replaced by is there any plus noun who do not does not and did not look at the example in a assertive sentence every plus noun is replaced by is there any every is replaced by is there any then you will have to write the noun then we will have to write who plus does not do not or did not here who plus does not because subject is a third person singular number verb is a present simple tense that is why we will have to write who does not and we will have to write down the rest part of the sentence and after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation look at another example every mother loves her son in a state of every we will have to write is there any and then we will have to write the noun then we will have to write who plus just not because subject is the third person singular number verb is present simple tense we will have to use who plus does not then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation rule number 6 nobody no one and on replaced by who look at the example in a assertive sentence start with the nobody no one and a noun we will have to write who in a state of the nobody then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence without any change after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation look at the look at the another example none can do it in a state of the none we will have to use the who then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence without any change but after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation rule number 7 there is a no replaced by is there any look at the example there is a no use of this law and in a assertive sentence there is a no we will have to write is there any is there any in a state of there is a no and we will have to write the rest part of the sentence and after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation look at another example there is a no man happier than the meal in interrogative sentence we will have to use is there any in a state of there is a no then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence after the sentence we will have to use the sign of interrogation rule number 9 it doesn't matter and replaced by what though does it matter in interrogative sentence we will have to write what though does it matter in a state of it doesn't matter look at the example it doesn't matter if you fail in the exam in interrogative sentence in a state of it doesn't matter we will have to use what though and then we'll have to write the rest part of the sentence after the sentence we'll have to use the sign of interrogation now we'll discuss about how to change the exclamatory sentence into assertive sentence rule number 1 we will see subject and the verb of exclamatory sentence at the last of the sentence but in assertive sentence we'll have to write subject and the verb at the very beginning how and what in exclamatory sentence are replaced by very before the assertive great before a noun look in exclamatory sentence if you see how and what replaced by very before assertive great before a noun look at the example how beautiful you are look here subject and verb at the last of the sentence but in assertive sentence we will have to write the very beginning then you are in a state of the how we will have to write either very or great but here for soon is a assertive we'll have to write the very because adverb can modify the assertive then we'll have to write the assertive 
Look at another example. Exclamatory sentence. What a fool he was. The subject and the verb at the last of the sentence. But in a assertive sentence, we will have to write the very beginning. You are a great. We know that in a state of the word, we will have to use the great. We know that adjective can modify the noun and pronoun. You are a great fool. Rule number two. Sometimes subject and the verb may be eclipsed in a exclamatory sentence. Look at the example. What a beautiful scenery. There is a no subject and the verb at the last of the exclamatory sentence. But in assertive sentence, we will have to write. It is. There is a no subject. That is why we will have to use introductory it. After the subject, we will have to write the verb according to the passage verb. It is a very beautiful scenery. So look. There is a two word, one is adjective, another one is a noun. So we know that adverb can modify the adjective. That is why we will have to use the very beautiful scenery. It is a very beautiful scenery. Look at another example. What a pity. There is a no subject and the verb at the last of the exclamatory sentence. But in assertive sentence, we will have to write. We will have to write the subject and then verb according to the passage verb then we will have to write a great because here is only one word after the article that means this is a noun so that is why we will have to use the adjective a great pity rule number three hurray and bravo replaced by i or we rejoice that it is a matter of joy that example exclamatory sentence hurray we have won the game in a state of the hurray, we will have to write, it is a matter of joy, that. Then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence without any change. Look at the another example. Bravo, you did well. In a in assertive sentence, we will have to write, I rejoice that, or we rejoice that, you did well. So without any change, we will have to write the rest part of the sentence. Rule number four. Alas, replaced by I, we mourn that, or it is a matter of sorrow or grief that. Look at the example. Alas, he has failed. But in assertive sentence, in a state of alas, we will have to write, it is a matter of sorrow that, and then we will have to write the rest part of the sentence without any change. Rule number five, had, were, if, and or that at the outset, that means at the very beginning, in an exclamatory sentence, replaced by a wish plus subject again plus where oblique had plus rest part of the sentence. Look at the example, then you can understand. Had I the wings of a bird, if the exclamatory sentence start with the hat, then we'll have to write in assertive sentence. And before the hat, we'll have to write I wish. Then we'll have to write the subject again, and after that we'll have to use the hat and the rest part of the sentence. It will be transformed into a assertive sentence. Look at another example. Where I a bath, or if I were a bath. So, here I start with the exclamatory sentence where and if. In assertive sentence, we'll have to write I wish. Then we'll have to write the subject and rest part of the sentence. Exclamatory sentence start with the if, you will have to write I wish. Look at another example. Would that I could be a sign. Then in a state of the would that, we will have to write I wish I could be a sign. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.